Hello, everybody. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. Today's topic is psychedelics. And, you know, I'm not really an expert on it. And I, I don't heavily promote psychedelics. But I do know that I have received some help from plant medicine and such. And especially for people, and I think this applies to all of us, but I've especially seen people who suffer from what I call brain lock. You know, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, is such an intense brain lock. The person feels so out of control that they will come up with these magical rituals and obsessive thoughts as a way to somehow be on top of everything when really they're way out of control. And we as humans totally lose perspective. We have blind spots that are running through our system of perception so heavily. And that psychedelics offer a way when it's approached not recreationally, but really with a sacred attitude can take us beyond our commonly perceived reality and into a whole other realm. Believe me, it's not about the psychedelic visions of, you know, faces melting or rainbows on every pine needle or something like that. It's much more about recognizing that there is more than our perceptions to reality. Our perceptions are sometimes a very, very narrow band of what's actually going on in any and every given moment. Psychedelics can be a gateway into that kind of experience. I know people that they have some kind of a transcendent experience like that, and then they get hooked on it, and they use it as just something else to hide out in. So that's not what psychedelics are about. That's that's just bullshit translated and transplanted into some other good field. We don't want that. It's the same way that somebody is dependent on their horoscope or they read tarot cards every morning. You know, you don't want to overconsult the oracle. You want to have it be more organic, get help sometimes. And I do want to share with you, when I first did ayahuasca, the shaman who was, uh, I forget what, country he was from. It was Colombia, I believe. And he recommended going into the session with a sacred attitude and with a sacred intention for yourself. And he recommended a very specific intention. And here it is. It was threefold. He said, show me what I have become. Heal my heart. Connect me with my soul at all costs. And I really like the specific way he worded it. it was just lovely and deep. And there is something about setting an intention in general. But when you're about to blast off, to have a really strong intention can really help you go in the right direction big time. Because let's face it, if, if I'm in a rocket that's designed to go from here to the moon. And if I'm just one degree off at the beginning of my journey, by the time I get to the distance of the moon, I'm going to be way off. So a strong intention helps us stay on track to our target. So psychedelics. I could really share a lot of specifics. And the question that I have asked, and I think other people have asked, do psychedelics alter reality or do they reveal reality? And I am now personally convinced that psychedelics reveal an underlying reality. And that is such good news because that reality is so beautiful. It is so cosmic and unifying that just a little bit of contact with it helps me relax, you know, helps me get true perspective on what it is to actually be a human being, to know that I am a conglomeration of atoms come together in this particular form at this particular time to actually be a human being, a being that can be self-aware. Just so awesome. All right, psychedelics, look into it.
Look into it. Don't abuse it. Thank you.